Oliver, uh, quite an innovative automation solution we have behind us here at the uh, yep. Mazak Automation event. What, what's it doing? Talk us through how this works and operates. So uh, we have a FANUC uh, CR7 robot, a collaborative robot from FANUC, um, to show how collaborative robots can be used for machine loading, uh, but also to try and demonstrate some of the other uh, value-added options that FANUC can bring to, to, to those customers. What are they? Because they're the real key ones to me yeah. here. So along with uh, ro uh, sort of industrial robotics, uh, FANUC have options such as vi vision systems, both in 2D and 3D, uh, for bin picking applications to try and um, make it easy for customers to integrate robotics into their production. And looking in this parts box here, they're all kind of randomly orientated, the parts, aren't they? Uh, talk us through how that, how that works and how the robot actually goes to pick those up. Yep. So. Uh, so FANUC obviously looked to add value through this 3D vision system by ensuring that uh, subcontract machinists can take parts directly from their suppliers and put it straight in front of the robot for machining on their machines. Uh, FANUC do that through the use of stereo vision. It's FANUC's own product um, where two cameras and a projected light source create a point cloud over the surface of the parts in the box. Uh, FANUC then do a, a pattern matching algorithm to actually find those parts in the box for pickup by the robot. Sounds remarkably complex, but very, very effective. Now, how, how does it know which one to pick up? So what you can do is use the FANUC algorithm and actually define strategies within the, the programming language to say, I want to pick the highest part, I want to pick the part with the, in, the, in the top right-hand corner, for example, and you, you've got a whole scenario or, or um, set of scenarios that you use um, to actually define that. Uh, and that defining um, process, how, how long does it take, let's say you come in with a new box, a box of parts this morning, uh, how quickly can you actually be up and running on the machine and loading them into something like this Mazak Quick Turn? Um, creating that point cloud and all that stuff? Yeah, d d depending on the way in which we uh, define those strategies, it could be between five and 30 minutes, for example. And the robot, how's it actually picking up the part? Is it a, a magnet or is it, what, what's, the, uh, what's the idea yeah. behind that? So in, in this particular instance, we're using a, a vacuum and a two-jaw gripper hybrid solution. Uh, we use the vacuum to pick the parts out of the box and take them to a re-gripping station where we can then accurately grip the parts using their two-jaw gripper, as you would in any normal automation solution. That way we've got complete um, security over the part as we put it in and out of the machine. And I suppose when it comes to weight of the parts or the billets, it doesn't really matter because you just go up to a bigger robot. Is that right? Yeah, so um, in, in this range of collaborative robots, FANUC are able to hold out up to a seven kilo um, workpiece and gripper combination. But FANUC also produce a 35 kilogram collaborative robot for heavier workpieces. Um, and what about the health and safety behind this? Because it's obviously a standalone unit there uh, and there is the risk of, of operators being near it. Yep. So. Uh, as I said before, this, this is a concept solution uh, to try and give customers here at Mazak today uh, an idea on what is possible. So this is static, but it could quite easily be an AGV, an autonomous vehicle, that takes the robot to different workstations, different machines within their customer's fa facility. And technically, this here on this Mazak, you're actually loading one into the main spindle and then you're taking a, a finished part out uh, and putting it into this bin here, aren't you? Yes, we are, yeah. So, with this uh, twin chuck system, we're able to load and unload within the same operation. Is this a total FANUC solution here, what we see in front of us or behind us? Yeah, so FANUC UK have, have developed this concept for Mazak. Um, we don't think this will necessarily be a, uh, something you can buy off the shelf, but something similar will be available very soon.